Hey friends! Welcome to this week's episode. I just want to, we just want to apologize because some of the parts had to get cut out because they were frozen and something's wrong with our GoPro right now. We're not quite sure what, but we just wanted to apologize for that real quickly. And without further ado, let's get right onto the video. What's the video about? The solar panels. Step one in our solar install. We have our two panels here, and we're gonna go up top above the bimini and lay them out and get a basic measurement to see what we're working with. Hey, it's been so wet around here. It's been raining for four days now, so it's just been difficult to get this project done. Here's a 50 watt panel. It's a uh, sun power. Not an advertisement. All right, here we go. Um, it's 50 watts. Rated for 17.6 volts, 2.8 amps of current. We're gonna run them in parallel. We have way, way more room than I thought. We are gonna run them in parallel. Now I'm rethinking kind of where to place them. All right, so I'm using a tungsten carbide Dremel bit. I've seen people cut stainless and it is not an easy metal to cut. Now I do have safety goggles somewhere. All right, so here's the fastener we're using. And we're gonna use a um, cloth ravioli. We'll show you how to do it in a moment. But it's a pretty cool fastener. It's down tight, plenty of holding force, and quick release if we need to ever remove them, change them out. Here's the problem. They, they're perfect, but they're too big for the it. Just drilled through all the way to this plastic material. The grommet's gone. It fits perfectly now. Look at that. Fits perfectly. Oh, you're okay. Looks good. Yeah. Think that'll be strong enough? Yeah. yeah, I think so too. It's gonna be good. So the next step to the solar project is to create these what we're calling little raviolis and what they're going to do is it's going to connect to the solar panel and connect to the bimini and create like a little pressure so that we don't have to put a hole in our bimini it's going to sew down onto the bimini and then we put the vinyl on top in the solar panel and then this is a quick release kind of button that's going to hold it all nice and tight and then if we needed to take them off for a hurricane or whatever they would just pop right off. So the first step is to measure two three by three squares, which I've already done. And then I'm gonna use this hot knife, which when you pull the trigger, it instantly gets hot. And I'm gonna use it to cut my three by three squares. <laughs> Nothing like a face full of plastic fumes. I have to get this piece to fit in the center of here. So what I do is I'm just going to find the center of my little 3x3 three three square. And I'm going to use my little hot knife. Make a hole. needs to be a little bit bigger than that, so I'm going to just take a little out of the metal. And we'll try it out. I'm going to secure it, this little piece. Screws on to the top. Now we're going to take the second square, put it on the back, put it in the sewing machine, sew around. Trying 
make Mocha a little skirt out of fabric I got from an old t-shirt, which I'm wearing. You want a skirt? You sure? After I have sewn the ravioli, I cut the vinyl out the same way with the hot knife and then cut the hole in between and then you stick it on the top and put the snap on. Cool. So the next step would be to secure all the raviolis onto the bimini, but it's rainy, so we need to mark where they're going to go, and then we can bring it down here, and I can sew the raviolis on, then the panels will be ready to put up. So excited! All right. Now before we measure the solar panels on the bimini and mark them, I'm going to do a little waterproofing just to ensure that below these panels it won't drip. The water's just going to run right off. Super easy to do. All right, so here's the raviolis that Nancy made. And you can see that the bottom two layers have a seam on them. And the top, uh, I forgot what this is called again. It's like a weather tech. It's a uh, heavy vinyl. It has no seam on it yet because we're going to actually sew all three layers onto the bimini and then an outside seam just along the vinyl onto the bimini. So it's going to have two seams um, holding this down to the bimini fabric. It's really strong. Pull it and then I can re quick release it too if we need to take the panels off, let's say for hurricane prep or if we need to replace one. Quick release. Now we're going to go up on top and we are going to measure. Um, with this, we're going to mark out where the solar panel thingies need to be sewed, right? Yep, we're going to mark where they need to be sewn. So we're going to lay this on the bimini up top and then we're going to mark the edge. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm about to sew into my bimini. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, this is the bimini, huh? Uh-huh. Nah, that'd be all right. Give it a shot. What do you think? Hey! We'll see! <laughs> I'll just look at you! <laughs> so it worked well. Sewing machine was able to handle the, uh, what is this, six layers? Yeah, not a problem. This bought this from Cellrite. It is called Shelter Right. Alright, Shelter Right. And it's just this really thick vinyl stuff. And this will provide chafe protection on the corner of that solar panel sitting here and bouncing in the wind and waves. It won't tear through the bimini. What do you think? Okay. hope that it works. What was that? That's easy. It's hot outside. Cool. Check that out. Super, super easy to install. Uh, I guess this was the easy step. Next step will be wiring. Okay, so we're going to do a little experiment. <clears throat> I'm expecting upwards of 17, 18 volts on a single panel. <clears throat> and Olivia is going to use this solid black plastic box. We're going to shadow partial cell, a full cell. So we have a cloud out and it's showing 19 amp volts, 18.9 volts. Dad, you're making a phone. Cool. So let's see what happens. Go ahead and put the, uh, we actually have the sun behind a cloud and we still have 19 volts. So let's cover a half a cell. Still under a cloud. We have 18.75 with half a cell covered and cloud cover. Not bad. Let's cover a full cell. That drops us down to 18.65, 68, 18.6 still. And here comes the full sun. Partial cloud going up to 19. Got to roll of this uh, UV protectant. Um, 
copper tin or tin copper wire. And anyway, these are waterproofing. Um, crimp this metal, metal piece, this tin copper piece on. Then it slides in the hole. You tighten it down and they snap together. I don't have my wire cutters, so I don't know what happened to them. Ran, got a rough draft here. This will go under the zipper. Okay, positives marked. Runs down. All, All right, today, next step on the solar panel. Whew, this is the nervous step because now we have to actually drill and cut into the boat. Another hole. So I'm installing this. It's a uh, cable clam from Blue Sea Systems. It's going to keep it waterproof. I think I just lost the bit. <laughs> I didn't have it tight enough. Oh geez, where'd it go? It's gone. And we're back inside the cabin running the wires. This is for the solar. Matter of fact, this is the AC panel. Let me go ahead and turn off shore power. I'm kind of holding it up here. Let me set you down for a second. Okay, you stay. Oh, you stay here. And I'm gonna go back in the back and I'll pull them through. We've got it in here. Need to go to, can you go to the head and pull it through a little bit? Good work, good work. She feeds me well. Feeds me that wire. All right, let's take a look at how these solar wires actually come into the system. That's into the bus bar and the batteries and how it's all tied together. Let's go down into our battery box, which is here below the seat. <clears throat> this is our MPPT 75 10 amp. 75 volts is the maximum voltage and 10 amp is the maximum amps that can come into the charge controller come out onto our positive bus bar and of course this is what is tied to the battery bank and to the house this way negative wire which i haven't secured yet i'm still working on this <laughs> is going to actually go oh, by the way there is a 20 amp fuse built into the charge controller so that protects from any overload currents there and then the negative wire comes out through here <clears throat> and onto the negative bus bar we have here. I'm using this negative bus bar for all of the charge controllers. And um, I bought more wire than I thought I needed and I ended up needing it. So that was good buying that. And it just came together really good. It was rather easy. As a matter of fact, just yesterday we realized our sales are going to be del delayed a week. So... <sighs> So, but the good thing is, I was like, oh good, I can get some more Amazon shipments. So I ordered more solar panels. We're going to go ahead and add another 50 watts because it's so easy to put together. And we almost debated adding another 150 on the front bimini, but not yet. Anyway, that's good. We're going to get some practice on the solar and get some data. It's been rainy for 10 days now. And, and I'm at the marina right now, so the batteries are charged. They don't need any solar. It's not... So I need some good data and I'll share that maybe a battery solar update in the future. Yeah. Everything's working good. Thanks for watching the solar panel install. Uh, we're just one more project down, getting closer to uh, departure. And we can't wait to share that with you in the next few weeks. We might be taking a week off when we're crossing the Gulf. Mm -hmm. So that'll be coming up. But we still have, I think, one or two more episodes before then. 
And we'll see you then. Leave us a comment down below. Thumbs up and all that good YouTube stuff. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Definitely. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. Leave us a thumbs up. <laughs> Why do you always make this awkward for me? What are you eating? Oh, I'm having appetizer waffle for pancakes. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, because it's it's the summer. You gotta eat a lot of food. Thank you very much. <laughs> so once I have the ravioli sold sewed sold so <laughs> i don't know after i have sewn the rest all right doing? so what's happening here um it's 11 26 at night and i just got done you finished them all yeah i'm tired I hope nice hope they fit i hope it works Table. You wanna go to bed? See you by time?